Students at a local high school and their parents staging protests tonight. They don't want their school to close. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. The protest took place outside Southwest Early College High School. That's a charter school near downtown. Local 24 News weekend anchor Annette Pegler is here now with tonight's top story. Annette? Well, Katina and Richard, last week parents were worried the dual enrollment program won't satisfy high school credits or provide their students with an associate's degree. Now the issue is whether they'll have to find their children an alternate school come next month. High school is supposed to be a testing lab for life. But some students like Adam Brown are worried they are not receiving the necessary skills for the real world at Southwest Early College High School. We have not received any type of explanation or any accountability or any reason why the teachers have left or why mentors are not here. Last week, Shelby County Schools Office of Charter Schools made the recommendation to revoke the school's charter. The decision was based on an investigation into complaints from students and parents. I think that is so premature to close this. It, it, it hasn't even been five years. Friday, Local 24 News found two sets of groups protesting outside of the school. One group of students is demanding change. The other group, including parents, are fighting to keep the school open. Parents tell Local 24 News several teachers resigned from the school and some aren't certified. The principal here, Ms. Smith, she's opened her door to all of them. There's been plenty of meetings here. She's informed um, everyone of what's going on. And while Ashley Smith, the school's founder, couldn't talk to me directly on camera, she did tell me teachers have been hired and she's hopeful the district will keep it open. And I challenged parents to come and help. This is an open door policy. Come and, and, and lend either your time, your talent. Come in and make this a great opportunity for our kids. And roughly 150 students attend the school. SES board will vote on a decision at its next business meeting, which is on October 29th. Live in the studio and at Pegler Local 24 News.